Please give it up for Kerry. Thanks, Ole. That was basically my whole presentation from his side. But uh, good afternoon. My name is Kerry Murphy. I'm originally from Finland, and I live in Amsterdam at the moment. I am the founder of The Fabricants. We are a digital fashion house. So, like I said, uh, The Fabricant, the world's first digital fashion house. We operate between fashion and technology. So meaning that we basically, because my background is in film and visual effects, only thing I did was just take uh, motion capture tools, 3D body scanning, and 3D software, and combine that with a fashion designer, a digital fashion designer, and bring these two languages together. And this is the type of visualizations that we create together, basically. Uh, so we create high-definition digital fashion for brands and retailers. That's how we make our money. But we're also looking into how can we sell our own digital clothing and create the digital-only fashion industry. Uh, so, like I said, we do not make physical clothing. I have to always uh, just pinpoint that because a lot of people think that we actually do work in the physical industry. We don't. We only want to make digital clothing. And currently, we make money by servicing the brands and retailers, but now we're really moving towards this business model that we can totally exist as a fashion brand selling digital-only assets. And it's not only for gaming. I see there's a lot of discussion going around gaming and digital assets for gaming. Fortnite is the best example we know, but we also feel that we can take fashion to its total virtual existence. What that is, I'll tell you some snippets in this presentation. Um, so we believe that fashion does not need to be physical to exist. Uh, so there's this trend. Consumers are basically expressing themselves digitally. The selfie culture, uh, face filters, uh, this is a form of our self-expression these days. Uh, so th just think about overlaying your digital dress on your selfie or trying a piece of clothing that does not exist. Or what about taking museum pieces from like 400 years ago that are about to wither and die, completely digitize that and combine that with your virtual layer of existence. So this was a video uh, we did together with ID Magazine where we combined Instagram influencers with digital clothing. Uh, on our website right now, we're giving away uh, our files for free. So these are uh, designed by Amber Che, our creative director. And um, basically, the fashion industry is very secretive. They're not very sharing. And we want to go against that culture and start sharing our files as much as possible and just push them out there and see what people do. And these are downloaded into thousands. And the main question I get is, how do I wear them? What do I do with them? I mean, at the moment, you're only getting you know, a 3D file obj uh, a project file for marvelous designer so if you don't know any uh, 3d software you don't really you can't really do much with it so the next step in our existence is how can we enable people to actually wear digital clothing uh, all I was already talking about it a little bit uh, we sold a digital only garment for nine and a half thousand euros and this was basically our proof of concept so now we can start making the next steps of actually making it scalable, making it profitable. Uh, so we feel like we are opening this new industry that we call the digital-only fashion industry. Who bought the garment? So th this is what this slide is about. Uh, so it was... Uh, it was, it was actually a, a CEO of a blockchain company, and he bought it for his wife to wear. So we just delivered the digital file to the wife just last week. And basically, what is she going to do with it? Okay, she probably put it on her Instagram. Uh, I don't know, maybe she has a website. I don't know, any, any type of digital channel, we don't know because we haven't bounced back with her yet to truly understand how will she want to use it. That's what we're still trying to figure out as well. Uh, so we believe social media to start out with. Maybe you have a, you know, a nice you know, uh, digital panel TV on your wall you know, that you can look at yourself. I don't know, but that's what we're creating. It's a total collectible, you know, because it's on the blockchain, so it's unique. 
You know, so you create that scarcity, which creates the desire. So blockchain allows for the fashion industry to work uh, like, like it works in the real industry. Digitization of the fashion industry has started and it will continue to grow. This is not going backwards anymore, guys. We're going more towards, towards digitization. So it's something to take seriously. Consumers are ready for it. And if we think about it, that if digital fashion becomes just 1% of the fashion industry, it's a $25 billion industry. So the change is inev inevitable. It will disrupt the industry. It is disrupting the industry. And new opportunities are coming by all the time. Consumers, they're already living their lives digitally. Fashion is all about self-expression and creativity. So joining the new digital-only fashion industry is a large business opportunity. And not only it's critical for brands if they are to remain relevant to the Gen Z kids, the upcoming generation. So maybe you guys know Kodak. Kodak was monopoly in the film industry for over 100 years. They, they joined the digital transformation of the film industry way too late. 2012, they went bankrupt. Multi-billion dollar company. So who is the first fashion house to go bankrupt because they refused to digitize? So these are some of the brands that we're working with right now. We're creating the marketplace, enable the brands to move into the digital fashion industry, to help them utilize the power of 3D tech and engage with the customers and be present in the platforms that matter. So that's why we see ourselves as pioneers in this space. This is our team, the core team. We started out as one, then we grew to two, three, and now we're growing because there's so much interest in it. And it really has to come from different sides. It has to come from the art, the creativity side. It has to come from the technology side, plus there needs to be the business savviness involved. The combination of those three makes what we do unique. So sorry to be a little bit of out of time. You know, you're free to come up to me and talk to me about this if you want, or hit me up an email, or connect via Instagram what you like. I, you know, I love this conversation. So yeah, please hit me up. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kerry.